What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I have another new software to show you which is known as OSEN Audio. Now the software itself isn't actually new, it's just new introducing it on this channel since I've never showed it before. Now for those wondering what it is, it is a program like Audacity. For those wondering what Audacity is, it's a free program which allows you to record your voice and edit your voice. So this is one up there that definitely does compete with Audacity. I've actually been using it myself and it's a very, very good piece of software. But my main go-to is Audacity. However, in this video, I'll be going over the basics of how to use the program itself. And then after you can head over to the description and you can download it to try it out. Again, it is 100% free. Now, since this is a new software, if there's any specific tutorials that you guys want to see in this program, just let me know in the comments and I'll get them done for you. So here we are in OSIN Audio. Now, from playing around with it, it's actually a really good piece of software, which is 100% free. So of course, the main thing of this will be competing with Audacity, which is another free program to record your voice and edit audio. And you can see this is the layout. So how exactly do you record? Well, it's pretty simple. By default, it should detect your microphone. From there, you can just select the red button. You can then choose the uh, sample rates from here. To be honest, you wouldn't need to change anything from here. I'll just select OK. And now straight away, you're going to be recording. So just like that, you're set up, ready to record. And at the top, it tells us our time. At the very top here, it gives us a timeline of our audio. And then also, as we are speaking, you can see our audio waveform is showing up. Then once you're happy with everything, you just select stop. You finish recording, then you can right click it and you can play it back. You can save as, or you can then go over the audio. So you can see at the top, you can scrum through the audio. Let's say you recorded an interview. Say this first part was a mistake. You hit a table or something. Left click, drag back, press delete on your keyboard and it just deletes it out. It's really simple. And then if you are too zoomed in, you can see at the top, you can just drag this bar across and it will reveal the entire audio track. At the top, we then get control of the sound itself as we are playing it back, how loud it will be. Now, another great thing about this program that I prefer over Audacity, I can then, for example, I'm gonna drag on KSI's instrumental. Now, for example, we have our audio here that we just recorded. However, we can come here and now we have KSI's instrumental. So we can have multiple tracks working at once. So if we wanna switch back, back here, back there. Now playing it through. So you can see we can go from that straight back to this. Really, really simple, really quick to do as well. Now adding effects, again, super simple. We can just left click and drag over certain parts or we can press control A on our keyboard, which will highlight everything. We can then head over to effects and you can see there's different types of effects we can add on right here. Now, definitely not as many as Audacity has. However, you can see we can add some bass. I'm gonna select apply. As you can see, it's applying equalization super, super quick. And that's made it really loud. We'll play it through. So just like that is bass boosted the audio. It's super simple, super quick to do. And then for instance, let's say your microphone at the start was never recorded um, or it didn't get picked up. Head over to edit and select preferences. Then you want to select sound. Then where it says record device or options, from here, select your microphone. Now, mine is currently set to system default. That's because on the audio settings within the system, I've set my microphone to be the default recording one. If you haven't, then you will need to select it right here. So you can see there's my microphone and you can see other things here as well that you can control. Also for the playback, let's say you can't hear your audio for whatever reason, make sure your playback device or options are selected to the correct speaker. So you can see again, mine set to default. That's because I've set it up. However, I do have my second monitor here and also the laptop speakers. Now, of course, once you've done an edit, you're happy with everything, press Control A on your keyboard, come over to File, Save As. Uh, by the way, shout out to GTX for recreating KSI's instrumental, and then just simply select Save. Now you can see I've already got it as an MP3, hence why I won't be saving over it. 
Now another thing you can also do is save it as an mp4 so if I come over to file and export you can see we then get the ability to use mp4 and also raw wav caf mp3 mp4 ogg and others from here as well. But that's it for this tutorial like I mentioned this is 100% free and it definitely does compete with audacity and I do recommend you give it a try as well. A link to it will be in the description.